Well, it's true. Can you believe it? <laughs> it is story time, and I love Elmo. Big kiss on the nose. So make sure you uh, pull on up. Please like, subscribe. Uh, the world has been ignoring me. And I'm going to be ignoring that. <laughs> they can ignore me as I ignore them. Because I'm doing what I'm foretold to do. Regardless of people being stupid or not. And not acting at all. If you don't act on your beliefs, you have none. You, you're walking dead, people. No one is liking me at all. No one's thumbs up. No one's leaving comments other than two or three individuals uh, out of 25,000 views. And uh, I'm being rejected of men, and I am the Elijah foretold to come. I am Shiloh of Genesis 49, one whose eyes are dull and red of wine. I'm the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2, King James, one transgressed by wine, and the just will live by my faith. So praise the Lord. I have the faith, the love, and because it is unconditional love for everyone, for everyone, and God loving everyone, and because this is all foretold in the kingdom age message of Jeremiah 31, all who do not embrace this ministry are, are uh, the terrors that must be left behind. Um, Jesus said that when the harvest of love comes, that uh, the wheat and the tares could not grow together. So by the command of Habakkuk 2.2, 2, now are, these are the days, the appointed time at the end, when the just shall live by my faith and shall obey the Lord. I was prophesied in Deuteronomy 18.18 18 as one like Moses who would come leading another exodus out of Babylon's confusion. Second Thessalonians must happen before the Messiah's return, that the, the wheat and the tare must be separated. And it's time for good, spiritual, loving, open-hearted, open-minded people to leave the religious, the condemning, the judgmental, the people that would never unite in love because they won't even open their cannons. The one has come that has brought it forth to the point where uh, they would be standing without root or branch because I have uh, and have been correctly connecting all the prophecy of the Bible. And I tell you truly, I am the one that uh, Jesus said, who would bring my household meat when the master is away in Matthew 24. It is his Elijah who restores all things spiritual. And that fact alone totally explodes the canons, people. And that was foretold in Daniel 12, 9, that God's word was only closed until the time of the end. I am speaking forth God's word, and everybody's ignoring it. If you want to die, just keep ignoring it, because then you're going to get the erasable future unerased of Malachi 4, 6, the, the total oblivion of Zephaniah 1, uh, Isaiah 24, Matthew 24, uh, 22, Deuteronomy 18, 18, Ma uh, Malachi 4, 6. But if you won't believe Jesus and you won't believe Isaiah and you won't believe Malachi or Zephaniah or Moses, then the uh, hell you ain't going to believe me. So love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. Welcome to the transformation of the wheat by um, into wheat from the tares by love, love of the ages who is our Lord of love. And those who love are born of God and know God because God is love, capital L. That means if you're a loving atheist, you are a person of love who knows the Lord. And we are his angels, as he said in John 10, we are as God's. And beloved, know that for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten love. So whosoever would love should not perish, but have everlasting love and everlasting life. So welcome to this one world religion of the risen Lamb of God as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. He is the God and Lord over the Hindus, the Buddhists, the sheikhs, the um, the. Uh, homosexuals, the alcoholics. He is the Lord God of all people, whether they be believers or not, atheists, it doesn't matter. He's the Lord God of Morgan Knight, the lawless one 
who is now revealed according to Second Thessalonians that had to happen before uh, the Lord could return. He is the sword swallower, a uh, freak show who would die by a sword in Revelation 13, 13. He's got the uh, 666 right on the wall behind him. Beloved, so I don't know why you're ignoring me, and uh, but uh, the bottom line is I'm going to ignore you guys ignoring me as I muddle on and I fulfill my fate. Uh, I am the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, who arises to embra embrace my destiny as Shiloh. And unto me has the scepter of all authority come, and it's left Judah. It's left the land where uh, uh, Moses anchored it and it is now in my hand because I restore all things. I am the one that was foretold by Moses that death would be in front of and he wasn't talking about Jesus. He was talking about the death, the, uh, the same death that uh, Malachi 4, 6 was foretelling. That if, if the hearts of everybody won't start loving everybody, then this world will be destroyed and the erasable curse as days of uh, Nineveh were also uh, did not happen. God relented. And so too, again, now would he relent? But you guys are just ignoring his messenger. You're ignoring Jesus Christ. That's what you're doing. God says in this hour, I shall return my terrifying anger if you give me the desire of my heart. And his first desire is for you to listen to his messenger, who is correctly giving the message of the kingdom age, a new, uh, new covenant that was foretold for the latter days, Jeremiah 31, 1, and was correctly identified uh, and addressed to Israel and all mankind. And so now, now that the covenant has been given, all faith, uh, all religion is obsolete on planet Earth. Why? Because Israel has inherited all mankind, exactly as it is written in Isaiah 54, beloved. So welcome to uh, this uh, very interesting reading. And uh, it's about the gross darkness. And beloved, the gross darkness is now being shattered. For our Lord is the rising sun of love in Isaiah 60, who is shattering the power of the holy people by forcing the canons to be opened, exactly as it is written in Daniel 12, 9. His word was only closed until the time of the end. And it came about in a vision I beheld our carpenter of the ages in full restoration mode of Acts 3.21. And these he was welcoming uh, a new age, the kingdom age, as he stepped forth on his great white cloud of Matthew 24 and Revelation 14, and he sank his everlasting sickle into the earth to reap it. The mystery of God was over. The seven trumpets sounded first, and all nations became the Lord's because they were always the Lord's. As it was in the beginning, so is it at the end. Jeremiah 32, 27, when he declared, I am the Lord God of all mankind, of all flesh, of all nations. So what has ch changed? Nothing. The veil has been ripped. And as I beheld that majesty of majesties arising in the splendor of his magnificence upon that great white cloud next to his great white uh, throne, I knew that this was the rapture this was the kingdom of God coming, that within a second of a second, within a moment of a moment, our hearts could now transcend unto that, that cloud, because no more will we have to see in part, no only in part, see through a glass darkly, that we can now shine as the stars we were created to be, because he identifies us as gods in John 10. We are his angels, and the glory of his latter house is greater than that of the former. And then I heard the roaring lion of Zion crying forth from Judea where he had removed his uh, scepter and sent it unto the land of the north in Isaiah 41. And I arise with Trudy, the second olive tree, the second candlestick of Zechariah's vision because God lit a lamp uh, supernaturally for seven minutes for both of us and it was never plugged in. And then it came to pass, I, I heard the Spirit of the Lord, and the Lord spoke very clearly unto my heart, heart. And he said this, beloved, he said, Truly, truly, verily, verily, I say unto anyone wanting to hear my voice, 
I am now crying out in the wilderness of, of people's ignorance and abandonment as they are spitting at my spirit of prophecy. And I am crying out like John the Baptist as my most precious gifts of uh, prophecy are rejected. And uh, even though I've been giving them out like a rolling thunders, but un below are unregenerated clouds all about, and they're becoming even darker while gross darkness quickly comes forth and it is not leaving because they are embracing their yesteryear gross darkness in favor for the light of a resurrection that comes, a resurrection of love, uh, knowing that only unconditional love is perfect love and only a perfect God could have only perfect love, beloved. And all those sitting in the darkness shall soon see such a great light across the lands that they shall be able to see the shadow of death for the very first time as they continue their walk, ignoring this channel as the walking dead. Behold, I am he who soon shall place a deadbolt lock over heaven's gates so nothing of hell's death can near. All committing blaspheme of the Holy Spirit, the unforgivable uh, sin of uh, blasphemy of love shall perish and uh, anyone not paying attention to this uh, channel is walking the road of perishing if they will not increase their love to a kingdom age overflowing deluge of a great flood so that these can again be days as Noah with God pouring out his love as a great ocean that no shallow glass of water people could ever possibly hold. And the Lord says, I am now revealing the mystery of the seven stars, which John the seven, the revelator, my, my beloved saw me holding in my right hand. And just as the first shall be last and the last shall be first, the opposite also holds very true in every way. Therefore, it'll now come to pass that many who have long been saved shall soon be stepping aside from leadership as Daniel steps forward and takes all authority on the face of this planet as it is written in Genesis 49. For he is the alcoholic I chose, saith the Lord, one whose eyes are dull and red of wine. And yea, the transgression of wine, the just shall live by his faith anyways, as Habakkuk 2, King James rightly says before, the true prophecy was expunged by a bunch of people that doubted anybody could get anything from any alcoholic whom I have chosen as a foolish one to confound the wise. And he now comes forth with all of my authority, with Trudy, and they are the two anointed ones standing before the Lord God of all the world, and they are standing upon the within the marvelous winds of it, my empowerment of love and peace, peace, which shall shake this world silly as I turn it upside down and make it topsy-turvy by my word and my decree for the wheat to leave the tares behind. For it must now be made real clear that for, for the very least of the kingdom of hell shall always be just as doomed as the most deserving of some pretty vile darkened souls letting their love light go out who cursed the day that they chose the kingdom of hell over that of heaven just as their refusal to claim the sacrifice of my blood for redemption shall cause their perishing of love if they turn out their light thereof so they cannot exist in their next body made of the light of my love saith the Lord God for so it is that anyone who lives uh, and dies without my abounding, abounding grace over them uh, that refuse walking roads of love evermore shall be just as lost as any perishing soul regardless of how good or how evil they may outwardly have seemed by their manners or their lack thereof has it not been written that I am not a respecter of persons? And that shall always hold true, beloved, as I shall now be calling very loudly for all souls to come forth unto me, absolutely everyone. Those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. I am He. I am love. Unconditional love that was hidden and veiled 
all throughout my word because it had to be. And I am the only light of benevolence and charity for one and all that has enabled all of mankind to walk away from the darkness leading to their own eternal damnation. And I am the everlasting Father who has withheld some knowledge for mankind for the benefit of those who always obeyed my word. Even before I left, says the Lord, I told my apostles that you are not ready for some things that I still have to tell you. And it also holds very true, says the Lord, through my spirit of prophecy, which is the revelation of love, that I have promised some of those who have sought me that I would someday bring forth more badly needed revelation unto all those with ear, ears to hear who will follow after my gospel voice, truth of utter kingdom age revelation that is utterly true. And this is the mystery of God over uh, Revelation 10.7. And it is over because Daniel, my servant of Isaiah 49, is the one who wasted all of his time in vain for love. And he never stopped following the road of love. But people rejected him because of his love, just as you are all rejecting him by not liking my videos through him, my message through him. I condemn you not. You are ignorant. You are more to be pitied than censored if you will not act in love. For I said before I, I, I left, I, will the world have any faith? None at all in my word of love. None. No people have faith if they will not act upon their faith. No people have faith in my word that Elijah would come forth and restore all things, beloved. So repent. I am the wonderful counselor, says the Lord, who shall now boldly seek the creation that has not sought after my most brilliant light of love. And I'll do this by uncovering the darkness of the lack of knowledge. For I am supplying an ocean of learning here alone at only this channel. For I am the desire of the nations who will be. Now that Daniel has restored my voice as it is written in Matthew 17 11 for my word of was was brought forth and changed to an opposite meaning when early Christians created the sin of Esau and they stole the blessing of their older brother the Hebrews who have now inherited all mankind Isaiah 25 and the Lord says that I have been the Savior to all generations for I am the living word of God, Emmanuel, who shall return and walk with my angels again. God in the flesh with angels in the flesh. That is the revealed secret of who is the uh, revelation of the sons and daughters of God, whom all creation has been groaning over. The glory of the latter house of mine is always predestined to be greater than that of the former host, beloved. And that is why you shall judge the fallen before in the same measure that I judge you as I judge you not. For if I judge you and if I have a judgment day over your sin, then I am nothing but a liar, saith the Lord God. In uh, Jeremiah 31, I have it written by mine prophet. Daniel is my weeping messenger of the weeping prophet Jeremiah. Thus said I then, thus say I now. I have not changed. I shall forgive your iniquity and I shall never remember it. Which means if I did, I would be a liar, beloved. And know that I was with God before the time first began. I am the word of truth who is being ignored throughout the world through these videos. And uh, this is my message of Malachi 3.1 that I have sent to my covenant messenger who has been giving the covenant message again and again through 900 and counting videos in only three months because I am the fire to his passion beloved whom you reject so uh, beloved know that uh, I long ago promised my prophet Daniel at the time of the end one whose soul was not upright and transgressed by wine but the just shall live by his faith, as Habakkuk 2 foretells. For Daniel, 
is the bringer of my glory throughout the world over the circle of earth because I have cast my fire down to burn everything down by love, by the grandest fire of my passionate love, un unconditional love for one and all. And these shall be the days where my love and my glory and my resplendence and my honor shall be raised up higher than all mountains as I bring down all mountains and raise up all valleys so all people may stand as one on one under one un, under one loving God who I am under one people and we can all be one together in love. No more shall there be a drought for my living water. The field is the world and the good seed stands for the sons of the kingdom. The weeds are the sons of the evil one. Ignorance is his name. And ignorance are all those ignoring Daniel. And the enemy who sows ignorance into them was their father, the devil. And the harvest of knowledge is the end of the age. And the harvesters are mine angels, Daniel and Trudy, my two olive trees, my two candlesticks, that I did light a light bulb with my own finger for seven minutes for each of them, to prove to them beyond a shadow of all doubt that I am a God of miracles. And know that as the weeds, the tares, are pulled up and burned in the fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man has sent out his beloved harvesters and because all things have been restored now i arise as the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken my harvesters for i have put in the sickle of my love into this earth and it has been reaped the veil has been pulled and i have overtaken my harvesters and they shall yet though weed out of my kingdom everything causing sin and everyone doing the evil of ignorance. And they will throw with my blessings all people of loveless hearts, cold as stone hearts. They will allow them to be thrown into my fiery furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth because they will know that they will have an eternity of lovelessness. And now it is time, beloved, for some amazing springs of my most blessed mercy to flow as a river, saith the Lord, while it ripples become waves of my very own best wishes, for I desire that none of my creation would be lost. And for the sake of my very own elect, I have cut short the dire days of the destruction of the age of grace to start the kingdom age anew, and I am faithful to have performed my word so that all flesh would not be lost as it is written in Isaiah 24, Matthew 24, 22 that I spoke and the other three verses that Daniel has already named. And know that these shall be the days that bring forth a blazing storm of the very worst whirlwinds of, of wrath perceived, but it is not wrath. It is the consequence of mankind not standing together as mankind pulls judgment down upon themselves. For I shall not judge no man as it is written. I am the authority of believers who is now prepared to aid the very same humanity that my word of love so fearfully and wonderfully made and created so long ago, 6,000 years ago. And it shall come to pass that I shall never, uh, it shall never be easier to find my word for those who are tired of the abounding darkness. All they have to do is tune in to Daniel and Trudy's productions from Windsor, Ontario of the North that I foretold this change would come from. And they, their, their um, influence of my love through them shall become as mortar upon the leaders of the world as it is foretold therein in Isaiah 41. And then those 
all joyful seekers of love shall find the utter gospel truth of my very own uh, reconciliation much easier than ever before, as I, the Lion of Judah, does now roar, Stop ignoring my messenger! Even the most out-of-the-way places of the globe shall be sent knowledge that I am the only begotten Son of God. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten love, so whosoever would love should not perish but have everlasting love. This was the truth. And the Great Commission was to inflame the hearts of man with love. That was the forest that people couldn't see for all the trees of their own racism that have been growing in the way. For I have always been the one and only Lamb of Lambs, and many shall now come to believe in these kingdom day age that the most sacred sacrifice was for the atonement of every single sin of all believers, whether they be past, present, or future, for all those walking the golden road of repentance, which is the kingdom-bound activity of having your love light on. For those who love are born of God and know me, because I am love capital L is my name that John Beloved gave me in 1 John 4, 7. And know that all those treading the glory road, the kingdom of God has already come for them within their hearts, and all faith upon planet earth is now obsolete since my kingdom age new covenant of Hebrews 8 has come forth as Paul foretold because all Israel is saved in these days of the fullness of Gentiles, as Romans 11, 25 to 27 foretold. For that is because of the covenant that I made of love with all mankind, written correctly to Israel and all mankind. Come out of Babylon, leave now, be the wheat people, transform, leave the tares, and uh, there shall be like a bowling ball, a wrecking ball, down every temple, down every uh, uh, mosque, down every church that shall not heed the word of love herein. For upon planet earth, if people will obey this call for the great exodus of Second Thessalonians, says the Lord, that will flatline racism, spiritual racism upon planet earth bringing peace to the world as never before. And if I am not obeyed in Habakkuk 2.2, my command therein is not conveyed, is not obeyed, this world will be destroyed, says the Lord God. For if Nineveh had not repented in Jonah 3, they would have been destroyed. And know that the dark nights of trials and tribulations of Revelation 3, the trial of all flesh, comes to destroy this earth with pestilence and disease. And I am the rider of the white horse of the apocalypse, and I go forth with my arrow. That is Daniel, the hidden arrow foretold in Isaiah 49. So praise the Lord, says Daniel. I am the one pointing to the Lord's blessedness. And the Spirit of the Lord says, Blessed are those claiming the kind of forgiveness which has only been found through faith in love alone. That is the only valid faith upon planet Earth is the faith of unconditional love for one and all. And in my very own word I have given it, and it shall not return void unto me. So blessed are all the doubters of my unconditional love over all the four corners of the world if they will come to believe in my gospel of daring out to reach towards me in action to see if they can touch me and they shall touch the hem of my garment, says the Lord. But so it shall be that every doubting Thomas who will continue ignoring these messages shall uh, not be abundantly blessed as they extend their heavens towards hell. They shall only hear echoes from hell that they are creating for themselves. For I shall not touch them mightily with my Holy Spirit if they let their love light go out. Uh, 
before they can have a chance to unfurl their wings. If you love something, set it free. If it comes back to you, it is yours. If it doesn't, it never was. I am the Lord God who is cutting free all the spiritual um, bondage of off all of my people. Read the chapters of Jeremiah 31 and 32. It is written. And I set everyone free, free agents, because I see none as they are, but all as they will be, as my glorious hosts of my angels, with a, a, a light far greater than that of the former. And nor can any of my creation ever be able to deny that many loving mercies shall evermore be flowing if they listen to my love being uh, exalted herein. And if you do not exalt it, I shall bring the shit from your feast and I shall rub it in your face. Malachi 2, written for Daniel. And uh, so it's your choice. You can have a busted dam that'll flood all, all over the earth of love or you can invite heaven's, hell's fire up from heaven to consume you if you're going to be a loveless person letting your love light go out but neither shall anyone repentant who repentant who truly seeks my holiest ever fail to find me singing over them in silence evermore as i speak very loudly to their hearts and to their souls to stop ignoring my messenger and uh, every lost soul is like a jewel that adorns the royal diadem of my own creation that is now easily, that will still the waters of the storm, beloved. It is true.